So John, it's midnight, the master will be here any moment. Were you able to make the pastor in question fall? No, not yet. He has a power with him that every time I approach, there is a powerful fire around him and a strong light that blinds me. It's painful. However, I have not had these kinds of difficulties with other men of God. We need to put a lot of effort into this one. And that annoys me. This shepherd must be truly saved and filled with the Holy Spirit. But I want to launch new attacks to see. Otherwise we have easily bring down all the other men of God in these countries. Why not him? The others don't even preach Jesus or the cross anymore. They do exactly what our master wants them to do. He is now preaching the prosperity gospel, polygamy, and premarital sex, and encouraging men to marry each other and women to marry each other. That is a great victory for us. They are so clueless. They refuse to read their Bible and do not even know that it is an abomination to God who himself said in the book of Leviticus 18, 22 you will not sleep with a man as one sleeps with a woman. It is an abomination. We ourselves who are sorcerers, know the Bible better than all these so-called men of God. Exactly. We are going to recruit them into our kingdom because of their ignorance. This pastor is only preaching spiritual battles. And how to win souls to Jesus? He is a great danger to our kingdom of darkness. Bunch of scoundrels. What are you talking about? You failed again. This pastor is only multiplying his evangelistic crusades and many souls continue to be saved in this country. And it's your last chance to get rid of him. Otherwise, I'll take care of you myself. Wait, we'll explain it to you. You don't need to explain anything to me. Your days are numbered. But he is gone. It's over for us and I fear for our lives, because the two other wizards who are on this same mission are found killed and the other two before have gone crazy. What would our fate be? We are going to die. I say we are going to die. Our master don't forgive. Stop whining like a kid. Are you sick? That's enough. Instead, let's think of a solution. What are the weak points that you have seen in this pastor? We need to focus on that. I see that he really likes clear, mixed race women. Or white, because these are the people who always sit in the first place in his church itself. All of her books have white people on the cover. In a country that is 99% black. So we could trick him with the spirit of seduction by bringing a mixed race woman to his side to seduce him and make him fall. No his wife prays a lot and he won't fall into that trap as easily. It's not a front door. Because when a person is truly born again and filled with the Holy Spirit, it's hard for us to reach that person. I know that they love worship very much and their God sits in worship. So if the spirit of worship is destroyed in this church, their God will no longer sit there. I know members of their choir who are not filled with the Holy Spirit. They will be our gateway to bringing division and quarrels. This will open wide doors for us to enter and to operate against the pastor. Starting tomorrow morning, I'm going to trap one of the singers who I think is spiritually weak. Good idea. Taxi cab. Yes, madam. Can you drop me off at church? Divine law, please. It's right next road. Okay, that'll be $10. Okay. You are the fifth person I am dropping off at the same church today. Divine joy. Is there an event there? I don't know but it's just the choir that's rehearsing for the crossing on December 31st. Oh yes, that's right, because the last two people I asked said they were backing singers. I think the man's name is Anthony. He says he's the choir master. He was with his friend called Dalkia. Ouch! Anthony is indeed the choir master, but he is my fiancé and not the Delphi fiancé. But sir, what makes you think they're fiancé? They grabbed each other's hands the whole way. And the man was talking about breaking off his relationship with another woman and that it was this woman in the cab that he really loved. He said he was going to wait until after the crossing to announce the breakup. Does he want to break up with me? No, but that's not true and he can't do that to me. Sorry madam, do I said something bad about that guy? No, it's not your fault madam. Can you take me home? I think I have a headache and I won't be able to sing tonight. Yes. Really sorry. 
Thank you, sir, for bringing me goodbye. Goodbye, madam. Anthony wants to break up with me after all these sacrifices I did for him. What would my family say? Well, I think she's gone. Great work. She is as dumb as that. She believed your lie. I told you she has no discernment and has swallowed the lie like a pill. You should always use Christians who are not filled with the Holy Spirit to achieve good goals. Mission accomplished. We are going to sit down and enjoy ourselves. This singer is going to ruin a lot of things since she was the lead singer for the 31st. Well done buddy, you just saved our lives because of this girl. Anger will set in among them and it will be their fall into darkness. This pastor must fall. We have won. Hi I'm Tony. I couldn't make it to the rehearsal tonight. No, I am not ill. I just won't be able to make it. I don't have any explanation to give you. Come on, I have to leave and goodbye. I have to leave. Goodbye. Ouch! But what does Gigi have to say to us like that? However, she told me just now that she was on her way. Quickly, I have to go inform the others. I will not wait the results of the strategy of my friend. I will make another direct attack against the pastor. Pastor come here I am calling your spirit here come here I am in a mission to destroy you. Come here. In the name of Jesus Christ I send the fire of the Holy Spirit to destroy any agent of darkness who is standing against me in the name of Jesus Christ. I got there as fast as I could. Your wife called me to tell me that you were taken to the emergency room. What is going on? I am seriously ill. Doctors say that all organs are affected and that there's nothing they can do. I know that behind this heartache. I tried to launch another attack against the pastor, but I have been burned by fire. It was very powerful. But we agree not to attack him directly and to pass through the choir. Why you went to attack him alone again? My life will surely end here. But I advise you not to continue in that mission, but to surrender to the master of that pastor. Don't ask this pastor for forgiveness. Ask him to pray for you and give your life to Jesus, because he is the one and only way to eternal life. Oh well, I get it, but you, be strong, don't leave us yet. I'm running to get the doctors. But where is he? My friend left like that. Pastor, we have a small problem with the choir. Oh, what is the problem? Yes, Gigi, was absent for two days in a row without giving any reason. We're trying to get in touch with her but it's impossible. However, she is in charge of five songs. We are a few days away from the crossing and she is acting that way. So did you pray for her? Pray for her. But she has nothing. You should always pray for each other to thwart all the plans of the devil within the choir. Good, we will intercede for her so that any evil hands that are behind her change are broken. Pastor, there is a certain lady who would like to see you. He says it's urgent. Okay, get her in. Thanks for having received me, Pastor. Please sit down. You don't know me, but I know you well. I have come to confess to you. We are at the root of all these divisions within your choir and all the attacks that you have been under for some time. Oh. Yes. I serve a master who aims to finish off all the men of God in this country. And you are his last target. He will finish you no matter what. But I want to leave all that behind and give my life to Jesus. I have come to confess and I want you to pray for me because the fact that I am coming to you, put my life and the life of my entire family in danger. Father, thank you for your daughter that you just saved. The Bible says that there is joy in heaven for a sinner who is asking for a forgiveness. Welcome to your new family. I'm going to call my deliverance team so that together we can pray for you. With Jesus, you are safe. Nothing will happen to you. Because Jesus gave us the power to rule over everything. Okay, thank you, man of God. Hello Pastor. Did you ask to see me? Yes, my daughter Vincent and you. There is a person who is going to apologize to you. Good morning, madam. Your face means something to me. Yes, 
I was the driver of the cab you took last week and I came to confess. Oh if I see now, you've changed a bit. So what do you want to tell me? Hi Gigi, how are you? I miss you a lot, you know. Hi Anthony. I miss you a lot too. Aren't you mad at me? Sorry for believing this lady's lies and sorry for all the harm I've done. No, it doesn't matter. We all want to see you again. Come on, let's go to rehearsal. I am in joy. An immense joy. I am moved because he freed me. And where are you going? You belong to me. Go away. I gave my life to Jesus. I am a new creation. I ordain you to leave my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, that's it all for this video. If you like this video, feel free to like it, comment and share around you so that many souls be saved and restored. And don't forget to subscribe to the Sentinel channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. God bless you. I am pregnant again, Lord. I really don't want to relive the nightmare I had a year and a half ago. Lord, have mercy and protect my life, protect this pregnancy. Finally, let nothing bad happen to me. It is in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that I prayed. Why were you crying, Grace? I heard you from the living room. No, it's going to be fine, David. Don't worry about me. Are you sure it's going to be okay? Personally, I don't think so. Tell me everything. Tell me exactly why you were crying. Otherwise, no one will get out of here. Okay, you know, David, ever since I got pregnant with you again, I've been so scared because I really don't want to relive the same nightmare we had a few months ago. Oh, I see. But you don't have to be afraid because I already planned to tell the members of our congregation to come and pray for us. Okay, David, you're reassuring me. Do not be afraid, Grace, for God is with us. I believe that nothing bad will happen to you again because I know that Jesus Christ is in our strength. Okay, David, and thank you for boosting me like that every day. You're welcome, my wife. It's normal. So why did you come to see us? Grace. As I already told you last time, I have been pregnant for more than three months. And if I came to see you this morning, it's because the last time I got pregnant, it didn't go well at all. Oh yes. What had happened? Three months into my pregnancy, I had a dream in which a friend came and forced me to eat lots of seeds. The next day, after this dream, I started having excruciating stomach aches and I was starting to bleed little by little. I told my husband and he told me to go to the hospital. Arriving at the hospital, the nurse who had taken care of me came, a few minutes after the tests, to tell me that I had lost the fetus. It meant that I had a miscarriage and the pregnancy couldn't last. Unbelievable the story you just told us. Let me ask you a question, sister. Yes, brother. Did you accept Christ before all these things happened to you? No, not at all. Brethren back in the day, we lived according to the standards of the world. We were just going to church, but nothing more. We did not have faith in Jesus Christ at all, nor did we keep God's commandments. We didn't pray and didn't fast. Oh, I understand better now, sister. Why did all this happen to you? You know, it's written in 1 Peter 5, 8. Be sober, because your opponent. The devil prowls around like a roaring lion, looking for who will devour him. Resist him with firm faith. I thank God that today you have truly given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you. All that is left for you to do now is to demonstrate firm faith against the enemy's attacks. You know, my sister. It is also written in Ephesians 6, verses 11 to 17, this, put all the arms of God so that you can stand firm against the wiles of the devil, for we do not have to fight against flesh and blood, but against the minions against the authorities, against the princes of this dark world, against evil spirits in the heavenly places.
That is why take up all the arms of God, so that you can resist on a bad day and stand firm after overcoming everything. Have the truth as your belt and wear the breastplate of justice. Have in your feet the zeal of the gospels of peace. Above all, take the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming strokes of the evil one. Also take up the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Thank you so much for this wonderful message, brother. My sister, this passage clearly shows us how a Christian can extinguish the attacks of the evil one through faith and through the word of God. You know, the Bible says that our enemies will make war on us, but they will not defeat us. There is also another passage that tells us that misfortune often befalls the righteous, but the Lord always delivers them from it. The next time you experience something like this again, don't forget to declare a prayer of faith and cancel their act with the precious blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Okay, brother. Because these dreams are like seeds that the enemy tries to put in us to harm us, kill us. Sister I will share with you a passage that you can recite in faith when you still experience these kinds of things. It is written in Mark 16 verse 17. Here are the miracles that will accompany those who have believed in my name. They will drive out demons, they will speak a new language, and they will see snakes if they drink some deadly drink, it will not harm them. They will impose their hands on the sick and the sick will be cured. Thank you so much for all these Bible verses and for all this advice. I would put them into practice from scratch. Sister Grace, starting today, you are a new creature. Old things have passed into your life. Here it is. All things have become new. Don't be afraid of anything anymore because Jesus Christ is with you now. When you return home, you will just think of recommending this pregnancy into the hands of the Lord and you will see that everything will go well for you. I also urged you to continue living in sanctification because without it, no one will see the Lord. May God bless and accompany you. Thanks, brethren, and see you very soon. See you very soon. I was truly blessed by this brother's message. Amen. Lord, I put this pregnancy in your hands, protect it from start to finish, make it invisible to all my enemies. Lord, your word says that everything we will bound on earth in faith will also be bound in heaven and any weapon forged against us will be ineffective and any language that rises up in justice against us will be condemned by you. And even if they have formed plots against us, they will all fall on our power. I use these words to declare peace and joy during my pregnancy. It is in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that I prayed. Amen. Amen. I know that from now on everything will be fine until you give birth. I don't even have to worry about that anymore. Darling, me too, because I know that the Lion of the tribe of Judah is on our side. Hallelujah. And let us give infinite glory to thee our God. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, let us not forget to pray before going to bed at night, because every day our enemies make plans to destroy us and doing war against us. In addition, let's not forget to pray every time we have a bad dream at night. Also, don't expose your pregnancies when you are pregnant. Dearest woman, God bless you profusely. Brothers and sisters, that's all for this video. If you like this video, do not hesitate to like, comment and share it with those around you so that a soul can be saved and restored. And please don't forget to subscribe to the Sentinel channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And if you want to support our work, feel free to join our channel membership by clicking the join button. Thank you and God bless you. your big sister here tonight to share with you some good news for our family. Oh great. A week before. Your son. My first child. Lonzo was asked by an international organization to come and work as an engineer in a large organization in America so he have to travel to United States. What good news. Little sister, it's a blessing for the whole family. Super super. Indeed. It is a real blessing and we thank God for this grace on our family. So little sister, 
your son should leave us all his old clothes and shoes so that we can share them between our children. Okay Lisa we already have two suitcases full of clothes to distribute. Oh okay, that work then? Thanks in advance. So when is the trip scheduled? The trip in a month. Anyway, congratulations little sister. Thanks for coming big sister. All right, we have to go. Thanks for sharing this great news with us. Congratulations. Congratulations male sister for the god news. Thank you my brother. Please, big sister. Come on, we have to go home. All right, we call each other. Anatole, it's me or you also found that every time our little sister calls us, it's to brag. Bragging? Oh, I didn't see it like that. Did you see the way she looked at us? What are you talking about? In any case, I did not see an unhealthy look on his part. I forgot who I was talking to. You never see anything. No, I am telling the truth, that's all. We need to share our little sister's happiness. At least it's good news for our family and their happiness or our happiness. So I am happy. I am not saying no. But it's the way she make us come in her house for nothing that makes me angry. In any case, I don't mind at all coming to my sister's house to celebrate good news. And frankly, no one tied me up to come. I came here of my own free will. Don't you get it? But it's not a big deal. One day you will understand. Well, I have to leave you because I have to pick something up at the market. Oh okay so see you later. She is always the one who has good news to share. Here is Anatole who has three children. I have four and none of our children have become anything. But she's always the one who bothers us to come to celebrate things at her house. I'm going to get that out of his eyes real quick. She's going to see her son. And so, we'll go nowhere. She can count on my word. We're all going to stay here and suffer together. I'm going to change her smile to sadness very, very quickly. I'm going to put an end to this hemorrhage quickly before one occurs. Hello, good morning big sister. It's okay. It was to tell you that my son, and you, will be stopping by tomorrow. To give you the two suitcases of clothes. Oh okay, we'll be home to pick them up. In any case, thank you very much. Go on, goodbye. Look at that one for me. What do you think? That me my children are going to wear your son's worn, sweaty clothes. If ever Mother Teresa is always there playing. But you'll see. I'm going to take his clothes to work on this. I'm going to bury them well so your son doesn't leave this country. Hello Phil. Hello Mom. Well, the two suitcases to give to your Auntie Lisa are in the lounge. You can bring them to her as soon as you are ready. Mom, Auntie Lisa lives too far away and you have not gave me the money for my transport. Sorry, I'll give you right away. Great. Thanks, Mom. Oh, it's you? Hello, cousin. Mommy is not here, but you can give me the suitcases. Okay. Your cousin is gone. Yes, Mom, he's gone. Okay, go and drop off both of his suitcases in my room. Okay. Well, it's midnight, no one is there. I'm going to do my incantations on her clothes. Here it is. I burn his clothes and I dig up his sneakers that I am holding in my hands. And I declare that the owner of all this remains here in this country. May this man never get on a plane or set foot on a foreign land. Well, it's done. My objective it's accomplished. I'm going to sleep. <coughs> but who screams like that quickly? I'm going to look in the children's room. There, but he is there. Come on son, what are you doing ashore? Mom, I fell out of bed this morning. Look, my ankles are bleeding. Ouch! But why does your ankle swell up like that? Come on, I'm going to take you to the emergency room, because the foot is swelling. Don't cry, my son. 
We're almost there. Madam Doctor, I'm now ready to see you. You can follow the nurse. Thank you, Madam. She put you on the wheelchair. Come on, I'm going to push. Your dad says he's on his way. Thanks, Mom. Madam, after the first test, we decided to keep your son overnight to observe him more. But doctor, what exactly is my son suffering from? Your son suffers from a rare form of infection which unfortunately leads most of the time to the amputation of the of the hands. Or amputation of the of the hands. But my son is so young and he needs his hands to work as an engineer. Sorry, I completely understand you. But the infection is on the rise and we need to act quickly before it's too late and the whole body is infected. Oh hey, you are there. I got here as fast as I could. How is he doing and what are the doctors saying? They say it's a rare form of infection that leads to hands amputation. Amputation of what? They would never do that to my son. Well, he's sleeping, you can go home, rest. Me, I'm going to spend the night here with him. Okay, do you want me to get you something to eat? No, I don't have much appetite. Come on, go home. Okay, I'll call you as soon as I get home. Okay. Lord, forgive us of our sins. If it is because of the sins of his parents that my son Lancelot is currently lying in the clinic, suffering from this ailment, I beg you, do favor my son and deliver him from this evil. But if what my son is going through is not from you, Lord, if it's coming from the enemy, then I break the hand of the strong man or woman behind it. And I declare my son cured. I cover my son and my entire family with the blood of Jesus and declare that any weapon forged against me and my family is null and void in the powerful name of Jesus. Amen. Anatole, but what are you doing here? Who informed you? Hello, it is Lisa who informed me this morning. An acquaintance who works in this clinic, informed me that my nephew was interned here. So we came. A big change. Doctors are planning to amputate the kid's hands. Today. What? It is not possible. Here, unfortunately, but you can go home and we'll let you know about the kid's progress. Because the clinic does not allow visits. Okay, in that case, we're going to ask to go. Really Yako and Courage. Thanks Mabel for coming out to support us. You're welcome. Okay, I have to go back to work. Okay, see you soon alright. And above all, a union of prayer. Union of prayer, my eye. What's done is done and nothing can change that. Now. We'll all be on the same level in this family, and we'll see who comes to free you from all of this. Hi darling, I just dropped the kids off at school. As I told you on the phone, the doctors are planning to amputate his hands today. No, that is not possible. I prayed all night. It's not to amputate my son's foot. I refuse that in the name of Jesus Christ. Gently. You risk awakening the other sick peoples. Well, I'm here if you want to go home and rest. I will be there soon. I'll be back before the surgery is scheduled. Okay, see you later. Hey, are you there? Hello, Mom. Hello, my son. Mom. Yes, my son. At night when I was sleeping, I saw a strong light and a man dressed in white appeared. Oh good. Have you had a visit? He told me to get up and walk and that I was healed. He said he heard my mom's prayers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is already good news. Look your hands is no longer swollen. Quickly. We'll call doctors. It is a miracle, my son. God is wonderful. Doctor. See the hands of my son for yourself. Let me take a look at it. How are you doing? Good doctor. Let me examine your foot. I don't understand anything. Everything seems to be back on track. But as a precaution, 
We will keep him for a few days to observe him. I'm going to call in other doctors. Okay, doctor. Thank you my stepbrother for coming to see us. I beg your pardon. Our son has healed so I came to say hi to him in the other hand Elisa is not doing well and was not able to come with me. But where is the little one? Hello Uncle Anatole. Oh but you look good my son. I am very happy to see you. Thanks uncle. Are you ready for your trip in two weeks? Yes, I am very ready. Great. We'll go to the airport with you. We're giving glory to God, sweetie. Since his release from the clinic, he has been doing wonderfully, as if he had never had trouble. All doctors talk about it. In any case, we give glory to God for this miracle. Well, it's getting late. I'm going to try to get home. Okay, thanks for the visit. We all will accompany you to the car. Okay, go on. Goodbye, little sister. See you soon. Good evening, dear viewers. As announced at the start of the program, we have young Lizzo with us this evening as a guest. You already know it because everyone is talking about it. Lancelot is with us to tell us about his story, his healing and his visitation. Good evening, Alonzo. The Lazo did not come alone this evening. He is accompanied by his parents who will be coming to the set later to talk to us about their son. And also two of the doctors who followed him will also all come to explain to us. They're on the news. But why didn't my sister tell us? So my spell didn't work? What has happened? It is not possible. I made them to become a star. The situation is worse than before. My family and I are going to get out of here. I can't bear this humiliation. Brothers and sisters, that's it all for this video. If you like this video, feel free to like it, comment and share around you so that many souls be saved and restored. And don't forget to subscribe to the Sentinel channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. God bless you. Hi my seat is here. But I have to put my bag in the upper compartment, just above your head. So watch out for yourself. Okay, no problem. Do you need a helping hand? No, it's just this little bag. Thank you, my name is Mina. And you? Salute. My name is Michael. Were you in Dubai for vacation or for work? I was there with my three girlfriends who are sitting behind to celebrate my birthday. This trip to Dubai was given to me as an all-expenses-paid birthday gift. How lucky you are. In any case, you are very beautiful, that explains everything. Thanks for the compliments, but it has nothing to do with beauty or luck. I simply have the favor of men and of God. Yes, but in life, there are people like you who born with more grace than others. Yes. I admit that almost everything I have in my life has been given to me by generous people who appreciate me. I don't work, but I can pay my rent. I have a car and a villa in my name. All of that is grace. Behold, we have arrived. We will maintain contact. You have my number and can reach me. Go on, goodbye. I have to go my friends are waiting for me. Go on. See you soon. Well, who is this gentleman that you're going to cut again? My dear, leave him alone. Plus he's really rich, this one. Come on girls, we have to go. Oh girls he has just has just arrived. Driver I need to make a small detour. Let's go to Bahamzins instead. Why do you want it to see me tonight at all costs? What is the emergency? Bahamzin. I met a young lady on the plane. Today, I think she has something special that I can enjoy. Oh good. Send me his photo. I'm going to work that out. I have his Instagram page. Here it is in red. That's a big fish. Even through the photo, her star shines very brightly. 
it's going to open a lot of doors if you get your hands on it. So do everything I can to spend a night at her place. I'm going to give you incantations, magic words that you're going to say about her while she's sleeping. You also have to take one of his underwear and send it to me I will work on that. You have to sleep with her late in one week. Okay, I'll fix it. Hello Sabina what are you doing tonight? I would like to meet you for a drink. Okay see you later then. Hello, it's nice to see you again. You are very beautiful. Thank you. So how are you doing? Did you rest well after the long trip? Yes, very well. And you? It's okay for me too. Thank you. I have been very busy all week finalizing the purchase of my land in Dubai for the construction of my hotel there. Oh, you build an hotel in Dubai? That's great. All right, we're going to order something to eat. Okay. Oh boy, we are ready to order. So do you even know how to prepare Sabrina? But of course. And what woman did not prepare? There are a lot of them, I assure you. At least not me. Okay. So when do you invite me to your house to taste country meal? But we don't even know each other. Do you want to come to my house already? Do you know? I like you a lot. And ever since we met, I've been thinking about you and if you want, you can invite your other friends over. That way, we won't just be two of us. Well, okay, as you insist. I invite you to my house next Saturday. Just tell me what you like to eat. Thanks in advance. Everything is expensive now. So hey, here's 200,000 for the meal. Oh, 200,000 for a single meal. Really at this pace, I risk preparing for you every day. All right, everything is ready. That is all. Safu, you have to keep your eyes on big fish. I'm going to wash up quickly. You have to open the door when Forno arrives. Thank you. Okay, sweetie, but get up quickly because I'm starting to get hungry. Look, your friend is already here. I'm going to open the door to him. Good evening. My name is Fatu. Delighted. Fatu, I am Forno. Yes, I know, you can take a seat. Sabina will be there in a minute. I'm serving you a drink. Okay, a cup of water. Please thank you. Hey, you are there for now? Come on, I'll set you up. I ate so much that I am now tired. I'm going to have to leave you alone. It is getting late. But wait for me to drop you off. Okay, thanks, that's nice. Okay. I'm going to take the car and I will pick you up at the entrance. Okay, well he went to get his car. Your forno is nice and he doesn't seem dangerous to me. That is the way it is. I'll leave you two alone. Yes, I am fine, my darling. And thank you for coming to keep us company. You're welcome. Go home well and see you tomorrow. Thank you, I'll send you a message as soon as I get home. Oh, you're back. I drank so much tonight that I had trouble driving. Oh, really? Yes. Can I spend the night here? You can leave me in the living room. If I go home like I'm risking an accident. Oh, that. Well, it's okay. I'm going to walk. Take a hotel next door. No, it's fine. I'll let you sleep in the living room. Really, thanks for the understanding. Well, it's time. She must be sleeping soundly. I have to steal one of her underwear and make my incantations about her, as Behemzin said. Fresno. But what are you doing at the foot of my bed? Who are you talking to? It's cold in the living room. I can't sleep. I need a little bit of heat. Truly, you men cannot be trusted. Forgive me, come into my arms. No, go back to the lounge. 
come into my arms. Oh, Mr. Forno, I haven't had any news for a week. I call him. He doesn't pick up his phone anymore. What viciousness. Who could be at the door? Hello, ladies. Hello, sir. How can I help you? Madam, the government asks that the inhabitants of this district flee to the site for its metro construction project. So you have 30 days to leave the premises. Otherwise, in 30 days, it will be the caterpillar who will break everything. What is this news? But where am I going? I don't know sorry to you. Oh good. I left the document under your door that you need to sign and take back to the town hall. Goodbye. I would not sign this piece of paper. Where am I going to go if I lose this house? I don't even work. Alright, I'm going to go to the town hall. But where is my car? But this is where I park it every day. No, don't tell me that someone stole my car. What is all this about me today? Why is it all falling on my head? I'm going to be crazy. I have to go to the police. Okay, madam. We have collected all the information about your vehicle and we will conduct our investigations to find it. Okay, thank you, officer. Ouch! But what are you doing here? Bina. But since I called you, you don't pick up my calls anymore. And just when I need you the most, you disappear and leave me. Fatu. What are you doing outside? Are you going to leave me here alone like that? It's Forno's voice. But what is he doing here? He asked me for a favor. What service could you do for him? What? You who are supposed to be my friend and sister? What are you doing with this man in your house? You are very dumb. Do you know this man? I'm sorry, but what? In any case, I wish you every happiness with him. Goodbye. Bina. Wait, I'll explain everything to you. I am living a nightmare, a real nightmare. I'm going to lose my house soon. My car has been stolen and my best friend of 20 years is doing this to me. I have to go talk to Pastor Kanye, otherwise I may risk my life. Hello madam, I would like to speak to Pastor Kanye please. Otherwise I'm going to hurt myself. I can't take it anymore. Okay, I'll go see if the pastor is busy. Come on, come on. The pastor says you can come. My daughter. It's been a very long time since you set foot here. What is the reason of your presence? Sorry, Pastor, but I have to meet you. I am in a difficult situation at the moment. Oh, good. What is going on? Pastor, I have explained everything to you. My daughter, after everything you have just told me, I see that you are as if defeated because the enemy saw something in your life. And that thing is a star. It is your star that attracts all these problems and many children of God who have to fight for their star. But what do you mean? You have a star that shines differently from other stars? And the enemy's relentlessness against you is just to steal this star from you. He is fighting you simply because he saw your star. Each birth is preceded by a star in the Bible. In the book of Matthew, chapter 2, we are told about the Margas who saw the star of our Lord Jesus Christ and who followed this star until they found the baby Jesus. And like its margins, it also has mystical people who see these stars and who fight you to steal them. And that's what this man is doing. This is why you must always remain in prayer, because God would have revealed the true nature of this man and you would not have accepted him coming home. You know, God reveals hidden things to us when we pray. Yes, it is true. But it is not late. You are going to prepare for the three-day retreat program starting the day after tomorrow. You will fast during three days we pray also for you during the retreat. Really? Thank you, Pastor. Father, thank you for these three days of retreat that have made me feel good. Forgive me again for all my sins. I put my life in your hands. 
May all the agents of darkness who seek to steal my star be broken in the name of Jesus. I am bringing my star back into my life and securing it in the blood of Jesus. I thank you. Thank you for your love and for your compassion. In the name of Jesus Christ, I prayed. I just sold my second home in a week. What a grace. Things have picked up for me. I have my own house, I work for myself. What number is that? Hello, Bina, it's me. Bruno. Please never call this number again. Thank you absolutely. You are defeated my brother. I got my star back. Brothers and sisters, that's it all for this video. If you like this video, feel free to like it, comment and share around you so that many souls be saved and restored. And don't forget to subscribe to the Sentinel channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. God bless you. Well, it's time for my morning ritual. Today, I am not going to stay on my neighbor's gate. I would clearly go to her house to provoke her. And if she ever falls into my trap, I will take the opportunity to cast the spell on her. I must absolutely succeed in this mission this time. I am finally ready to go to work. I hope that when I leave the house, I will not meet that woman who spies all the time. If I ever saw her again today, I would not hesitate to tell her my four truths. What are you looking for here? Who gave you permission to enter into my house? I'm talking to you. I'm leaving already. You're not going anywhere. We need to fix this problem once and for all. I ask you again what are you looking for in my house? Like I told you, I was just taking a walk like I did every morning. I'm really starting to get tired of you. You were not allowed to come into my house like that. My house is not a public place that anyone could enter as they please. I respect you so much, but you're really starting to cross the line. You know, I have the right to go anywhere I want. You can't forbid me anything. You can walk wherever you want, but never again I want to see you in my house again. I hope I was very clear with you. You can't forbid anything. Besides, you know who you are talking to. I am the dean of this neighborhood. I have the right to walk wherever I want. Really control your language, otherwise you may disappear in the coming days. Yes, neighbor. If you didn't have your two feet in my house, we wouldn't be here. And honestly, if you don't want me to treat you like a kid anymore, please don't set foot in this house again. If it's mine, you say that. You are a very cheeky girl. Do you know my age? I curse you because you just disrespected me. I promise you'll be going around in circles for the rest of your life. Your life will be bitter. In a few days, you'll be fired from your job and you'll be eating in the trash. You will encounter a lot of difficulties throughout your life. You will even lose the damn house that for which you miss disrespect me and you will find yourself homeless. I promise you will not last on this earth and you will join your ancestors very early in the prime of life. But stop it, neighbor, honestly stop being so mean to me. What did I do to you so much that you would wish me all this misfortune? You haven't seen anything yet? We are only at the beginning of the beginning. Tomorrow morning, I'll be back here to bothering you again. You are not welcome here. You can go for a walk wherever you want. But if I ever see your feet in my house again, I will file a complaint against you. You have just sown the wind and you will reap the storm. What you say will not happen to me because I am a child of God. You know, I had already spoiled a lot of life with my mouth. You'll be next. Trust me. I really don't know why I'm wasting my time with you. Oh, I forgot one thing. This new year will not be good for you at all, but it will be hard as rock because I am telling you that. Goodbye I had never met a woman like this in my entire life. I'm sure she has a problem. I think she needs deliverance. This girl is very poorly educated. I want to show her what I can do. 
I'm going to completely ruin her life. She does not yet know who she was dealing with. Really, I can't focus on my work at all. This woman's words kept coming back into my brain. I am very upset. I really don't know what to do anymore. I'm going to take a few minutes to relax. Today, my colleague is not at all focused on her work. I really don't know what she has. I'm going to get closer to her to find out what was wrong with her life. I hope she will talk to me, because she is very discreet and does not expose her life at all. She does not meddle in affairs that are none of her business. Colleague, it's good that you're here. Tell me what do you have today? Why are you not at all focused on your work as usual? I've never seen you like this before. You know, it takes a long time to explain. You can tell me anything. If you want, we can go sit in the waiting room. Okay, that works. As I was telling you, this is what happened between me and my neighbor. I am disturbed by everything she said to me this morning. This woman is a witch. Without denying it, I am really afraid that all these negative words that she said about my life will come true, because she told me that she had destroyed a lot of life by the words that came out of her mouth. But you didn't tell me that you were a Christian. Of course. So why are you scared? Of your neighbor's words. If you knew, you shouldn't have quarreled with her. You know, I started by talking to her because I was overwhelmed by her behavior. Every day she came to spy on me this morning. She had the nerve to come into my house, which made me mad. But I didn't know she was going to tell me that curses. Without lying to you. I get chills when I think of all these words. I have a fear in me. This lady had managed to destabilize me. You should not be afraid of human speech. You know, God told us in the book of Isaiah 41, 10 So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. You don't have to worry anymore, my sister, because Jesus Christ is with you. Colleague, thanks for this wonderful verse that you had just shared with me. You're welcome, colleague, that's normal. Oh, I forgot colleagues. She even said that this year will be very hard for me. Frankly, I have the impression that this lady just wants to destroy my future. Only the Lord Jesus Christ holds your future in his hands. And until he says his last word, nothing bad can happen to you. Because Jeremiah 29, verse 11 tells us this because I know the plans that I have formed for you. Say the eternal project of peace and not of misfortune in order to give you a future and hope. And yes sister, it is the word of God that counts for our lives and not the words of men. Do not worry because God watches over his word to carry accomplish it. You will just have to fast and pray for your life in the secret place and you will see that your God will act. Malachi 3 verse 18 says this and you will again see the difference between the righteous and the wicked, between those who serve God and those who don't. And Isaiah 54 17 a uh, superscripto no weapon forged against you will prevail, and you will refute every tongue that accuses you. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and this is their vindication from me, declares the Lord. And yes, my sister, you have to have faith in God's word. If you find that you had acted badly towards this woman, I advise you to go see her in order to apologize to her because the word of God tells us to seek peace with all and the sanctification without nobody will see the Lord. Really your words are very influential. However, I have a small problem. What is it about? Sometimes my faith increases dramatically. On the other hand, other days, doubt starts by filling my heart and I start by lacking faith. If I understand correctly, your faith is like the waves of the sea, then. That's exactly it. You know, you have to read God's word a lot in order to be able to resist doubt. Matthew 8, verse 13 tells us it will be done to you according to your faith. We need to stick to the faith every day of our lives so as not to allow the enemy's words to come into our lives. If I understand correctly, if I believe this lady's words, they will then affect my life. Of course. Proverbs 26, verse 2 tells us how the bird escapes as the swallow flies away. Thus, the counselor's curse has no effect. I now believe that only the Lord Jesus Christ alone has the final word on my life. 
no word from a human being can have an effect on me. Jesus Christ is my Lord, and I remain under the breeze of the Most High. I trust in my God. I will no longer live in disbelief. Starting today, I declare that I am a woman of faith. Soon, my neighbor will testify to the greatness of God in my life. I will no longer allow my faith to be like the waves of the sea, but it is closing. I am very happy to hear you speak like this. Now I'm going to get back to work. Same as me. Thank you so much for all these words of exhortation. May all the glory go to God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. It had been over a week since I cursed this little neighbor. Moreover, until now, I had not yet heard any bad news. Plus, I couldn't see her anymore. I would go to her house to see if my work had worked on her life. Good morning, neighbor. Am I dreaming or what? No, you're not dreaming. You're still alive. Of course. Neighbor, I am very happy to see you again. I wanted to apologize for the discussion we had last time. If I had offended you in what I said, forgive me. I didn't know you were still alive. I really encourage you to continue to love what you love because I sent you a lot as I usually did to those who missed me. Respect. What? I am shocked to see you still standing. You know, my life is not in the hands of a man, but it is in the hands of the Lord Jesus Christ. He's the one who has the last word on me. I advise you to also give your life to him and abandon this life that you are living and you will see that he will do great things in your life. Bye and have a nice day. I can't believe this girl is still in great shape. It really proves that the God she worships is greater than my God. I didn't know that another power could surpass the power of the God I worship. It really proves that he was a great God. I didn't know that my neighbor had actually sent me the spell she was talking about. But I am thankful that my God protected me from all of this. The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked advance against me to devour uh, me, it is my enemies and my foes who will stumble and fall. Though an army besiege me, my heart will not fear. Though war break out against me, even then I will be confident. One thing I ask from the Lord, this only do I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze on the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. For in the day of trouble he will keep me safe in his dwelling, he will hide me in the shelter of his sacred tent and set me high upon a rock. Then my head will be exalted above the enemies who surround me. At his sacred tent I will sacrifice with shouts of joy. I will sing and make music to the Lord. Hear my voice when I call, Lord. Be merciful to me and answer me. My heart says of you, seek his face. Your face, Lord, I will seek. Do not hide your face from me, do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my helper. Do not reject me or forsake me, God my Savior. Though my father and mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. Teach me your way, Lord. Lead me in a straight path because of my oppressors. Do not turn me over to the desire of my foes, for false witnesses rise up against me, spouting malicious accusations. I remain confident of this, I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. So I prayed in the powerful name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Brothers and sisters, that's it all for this video. If you liked this video, feel free to like it, comment and share around you so that many souls be saved and restored. And don't forget to subscribe to the Sentinel channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. God bless you. How did the day go today? It has been more than two weeks since I opened my restaurant. But until now, I still don't have enough customers and I still don't sell the way I want to. Frankly, I am genuinely getting fed up with this situation. I need to quickly find a solution to what is happening to me. An idea had just come to my mind. 
and if I went to my guru to explain this problem, I think he would easily find a solution for me so that I could attract many more customers to me. I would like to take a quick tour at his house before going home. Let's go, let's go. Enough is enough. I want to become a big business lady now. I want to be able to earn a lot of money and buy luxury stuff, because I am not just anyone. I also know very well that my guru will not leave me without a solution. Yay! We're almost there. I already know what brings you here, Karen. I know that you need a lot of customers to be able to sell enough meals and earn a lot of money. That is exactly what I would like to do. Grandmaster you know, my clad. First, I will give you something that you will put in your meals from now on before serving it to customers. Okay. That works. I assure you that if you put this product in your customers' meals, customers will never stop coming back to you to eat. They will be ready to spend huge amounts of money to be able to come and eat at your house. Okay, that would make me very happy. You surprise me. But you know, I still have a second product to offer you. Okay. All you have to do is apply this product in front of your restaurant and you will see that people will come to you like flies to buy. Anyone who passes by your restaurant will not hesitate to spend money to be able to come and eat at your place. I assure you that you will be so inundated with people and you will now make a lot of money. These two products would suit me perfectly. I am ready to buy them right away, even if you want to. Okay, but you know. You will tell your family never to eat the meal in which you put the first product, because the people who eat these meals will be stripped of their chances. They will never be able to achieve anything in their lives again. Some of them will get sick, others will never get pregnant again. They will especially have cysts and fibroids. Others will fail their exams several times before succeeding, and others will have wives and husbands of night who will disturb them in their sleep. Others will have severe financial problems. Okay put on top of it all. You will have to bring me a sum of money and the horse's tongue every three months to be able to renew your contract the day that you no longer respect the terms of this contract. Know that you will lose all your customers and your situation would be worse than the last one. Okay, that's perfect. But anyway I don't have much choice. I absolutely need these two products to be able to quickly sell my stock of goods that I have purchased. I absolutely want everyone to envy and love me. In this neighborhood, Everything is perfect. These two products are already in my spiritual pharmacy. I'll give it to you before you go home today. Great, thank you, Master. I can't wait to go home with them. Okay, my favorite customer. Thank you so much for these two products that you have just given me. I will keep you informed of the results by next week. Oh, you know, I'll be notified of the results in due time. You would not even need to keep me informed because I have several antennas and several mystical radars in the city. All you have to do is always fulfill your part of the contract and you will see that everything will work out for you. Okay, that works. See you soon. Yes, see you very soon. I am so happy to have received my two products. Now I know that I'm going to be such a great success in this neighborhood. Everyone will come to my feet to ask for help. <laughs> Chief, I am still amazed at the number of customers who come to eat here per day now. Oh yeah, that is great. Yes, I am very surprised because previously we did not make enough turnover as it is. Don't be surprised, my employee. It's normal that we have a lot of customers now because I really didn't let myself be fooled. I really fought to get to this point today. That is exactly what I am seeing. In any case, I am very happy. We get a lot of customers like that. Okay, thanks. I have a question to ask you, boss. Why do you always refuse me not to eat what we sell here? Oh, it takes a long time to explain. You know, the food we make here is meant for our customers, not for ourselves. Don't try to find out more. Please just be content with this answer. Okay, boss, I got your message. Where would you like to eat at noon? Franklin? 
You know, I would like to go eat at the house of the lady who had just opened next to our school. And you, what would you like to eat at 12 noon? You know, my mom will pick me up and I'll go eat at home. Okay, perfect. Don't forget to pray before eating at noon, though. Yes, my friend, I will not forget. Perfect. Franklin. I have to go and order my food from this lady quickly, otherwise I won't get served on time. You are absolutely right, my friend. In addition, it is often flooded at noon. And yes, that's why I have to go see her quickly to order my meal. Okay, happy meal to you and... See you later. Thank you so much and to you as well. Thank you I will test this lady's food today. I hope that it would suit me perfectly. Your meal it is already being prepared sir. Okay, thank you very much madam. No problem sir. It is normal. Okay I can't wait to enjoy my meal. I hope my friend will be able to enjoy his meal today. Oh yes? Why do you say that? He is not eating at home today. No mom he will eat at a restaurant. Oh, you know my son, I cook you a nice hearty little meal at 12 o'clock. I really think you're going to enjoy it so much. Great, thank you so much. You are an angel. Nothing my son. It is normal. So, young man, are enjoying yourself? Yes madam, the meal was superbly good. I enjoyed it so much. I think that I will come back to eat at your place soon. Oh great. It works. In any case, you can come back whenever you want, young man. Thank you very much, madam. All right, I'm going to ask to leave. Perfecting young man, see you soon. See you soon, madam. I enjoyed myself so much and the food was so good. Now I would have to take a nice nap and go to class in the afternoon. So, my son, did you do well today? Yes, mom. The morning went well. All right, my son. Well, I'm going to nap as usual. Okay, my son. Have a good rest and see you later. Thank you so much, Mom. See you later. Well, finally, I'm going to be able to rest a little bit. But what is it that is heating up like that in my belly? I don't understand what's happening to me anymore. I suddenly have a stomach ache. I literally think I need to go to the bathroom. Come on, let's go. Please, Mom, could you take me back to the hospital, because I don't feel well at all. What is happening to you again, my son? What is going on? I have heartburn, Mom, my tummy hurts extremely badly. Okay, my son, I'll take you back to the hospital right away. Come on, let's go son. Yes, Mom. But what are you just coming from? What did you eat even this 12 o'clock? To the Lord please help my child. But what is going on? Why did Franklin don't come back this afternoon? However, usually, he never comes late. I hope he didn't forget to set his alarm before he napped. Anyway, if he doesn't come, I'll call him later. When I get to the break, as I told you, the analyses revealed nothing unusual. As well as scanners. We have no idea what's happening to your son right now. Oh yes doctor. But why is he complaining of stomach aches then? Frankly, I can't explain it to you. I think that what is happening to him is purely mystical because honestly, the scanner did not reveal anything at all. Alright madam. We'll try to get him to sleep with our painkillers anyway. That's all we can do for you. Okay, madam. Thanks for your help anyway. You're welcome, madam. Well, I'm going home quickly and coming back. Okay, that works later. As I was telling you, Mr. Franklin, our colleague will be coming to give you some sedatives later so that you can rest a little bit. Okay, doctor. That would make me very happy. Perfect. Blessed be the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the one true God in whom I put all my trust. Thank you, 
Father, for inspiring me to come to this neighborhood today. Use me powerfully as you will in this neighborhood, all hearts through the message that I preach in the streets of this city. It was in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that I prayed, Amen. Repent, dear brothers and sisters, and come to Jesus Christ because He loves you. Do not, harden, to your hearts. Remember that before the name of Jesus Christ, every knee bent in heaven and on earth and every tongue confesses that He is Lord. I assure you, dear brothers and sisters, that there is nothing that can resist its name, that difficult situations subside. In the name of Jesus, the disease flexes, the knee, and witchcraft flexes the knee. I assure you, my brothers and sisters, that you will never be disappointed once you truly accept it in your life. Wow! It was incredible what I had just heard. I will quickly go see this man to tell him what was happening to my son. Come on, let's go. It's weird, my friend won't pick up my calls. I really don't know what's happening to him until this hour. I hope he is doing great anyway. That's a bit of what happened with my son Franklin, sir. In my humble opinion, I sincerely think that he is spiritually enchanted. I would like to go see him and pray for him, because it is not at all normal for a young boy his age to have excruciating stomach aches like this. From one day to the next. Exactly sir. That would make me very happy. If you were really going to pray for him in the hospital, what do you know? The doctor also said the same thing to me earlier. Okay. Here we go. As Franklin's mom just told you, I came to pray especially for this child before going back to evangelize in the city. Sir, you know, it is strictly forbidden to pray in this hospital. You know, Franklin is currently in a deep sleep and you can't see him. Right away. All right, madam. No worries about that. Okay, sir. Good afternoon to you and see you soon. Unfortunately, Madam, I won't be able to go see your son. Nevertheless, I can still pray for him from here, because the God I serve is omnipresent and he will be able to act in the face of your situation if he wants, may all the glory be giving restored to him forever and ever. Amen. You can pray for him, sir. I really believe that your God will be able to heal him of his illness. Amen. Hallelujah. Eternal Father, I give you infinite glory for the life of your son Franklin. Thank God for everything and for the blessing in his life. Oh my God, I ask for your mercy on his life. Please, Lord, forgive him his offenses and may he be sanctified by the precious blood of your son Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Take pity on him and heal your son Franklin, you who are merciful and rich in kindness. Lord Jesus, you who, during your life on earth, were moved by compassion of the suffering of men. You have restored health to the sick and brought joy to their families on the cross of Golgotha. You have erased the acts whose ordinances condemned your son and which remained against him. You destroyed them by nailing him to the cross. You have stripped the dominions and the authorities and put them on public display, triumphing over them through the cross. I rely on your word and have faith that your son Franklin is now cured of every mystical disease that was sent against him to destroy him. It is in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that I prayed. Amen. Have the faith that Jesus Christ has already healed him dear mother, and you will see, the miracle being accomplished in the life of your son. Okay, thank you very much evangelist. You're welcome, madam. Let's just give all the glory to God. On the other hand, I forgot when I was praying for your son, I had received in mind that he had contracted his mystical illness from a restaurant owner. It is really not wrong what you are saying, because it was after eating at the restaurant that has opened its doors in our neighborhood recently that he began by complaining of excruciating stomach aches. I think it's possible that it came from there. And yes, I really got it in my mind. Dear Madam, it is essential that I go see this lady right away. She needs to stop mystically hurting people through her food. Okay, sir, if you want, I could take you there. Yes, I would like to, Madam. It's really not possible that this lady destroy the destinies of a lot of people like that. Now she has to stop doing this. You are absolutely right, sir. It has to stop. It really needs to stop. Does he know me? I'm going to do it to him properly and he's never going to forget it. He even ordered him to go see my clad. I'm going to cut him off right now. 
I would never allow him to annoy my precious client like that. Let's go, let's go. Part 2 of this video is coming. Stay connected friends. Brothers and sisters, that's all for this video. If you like this video, do not hesitate to like, comment and share it with those around you so that a soul can be saved and restored. And please don't forget to subscribe to the Sentinel channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. God bless you. I don't want to last a little while and go on. But who is that? Isn't Rosalie Rosalie, my childhood friend? My girlfriend and treble? Hi Rosalie. Do you remember me? It's me Sarah. 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 Which Sarah? Sorry, I don't see it. But it's me. Sarah, the friend from the neighborhood. Don't you remember? We went to middle school and elementary school together. Sarah. Your. Friend? Sarah? Sarah. Yes, I remember. Oh my god, that's been a long time. What are you becoming? I didn't recognize you because you look really good. Yes. A lot has changed for me after our years of struggle. God has done miracles for me. I opened a small neighborhood business and then I met my husband who is very rich. He financed my business and I am now the owner of four large clothing stores and a food store. God willing. Next year I will open a real estate agency. As you can see, it's going very well for me. I can actually see the things are going well for you. Yes, I can confirm it to you and I am really lucky to have met my husband. And you, then, what are you becoming? Me, it's fine, I get by. Oh. Sorry, I have to go. I need to clear goods at the port. It was really nice to see you again. Yes, please your phone number. That way, we can keep in touch. Yes. You right, here's my number. And here is mine. See you very soon. Yes, see you soon. She really moved on in life. We were in trouble and poverty together and I thought she had ended up miserable in her own corner. But instead, everything works out for her, and she shines. She wears designer clothes, she has department stores, and a husband. She is really lucky. So sweetie, how was your day? Very well. I am working on the inauguration of the real estate agency. Even though it's been a busy day, it's always a pleasure to see your dreams come true. Yes, that's right, bravo my darling. I am proud of you. Thank you and you. How was your day? Well, I hope so. Yes, very well. You have to call at this time. Hello Rosalie. How are you doing? Hello Sarah. It's going well. I thought we could meet at your house to talk about the good old days. Yes. It is a very good idea. I am free next Saturday. If it's okay for you. Yes, Saturday is perfect, so Saturday. Who is calling? A long time friend. We met at the park about a week ago and exchanged numbers. Her name is Rosalie. We shared difficult times together. And then our paths got lost. I invited her to come to the house on Saturday. Oh yes, but at first. I prefer that you meet somewhere other than home. Invite her, to a restaurant for example. Oh good. But why? A lot of years have passed since then. Care should always be taken. You never know I prefer that you see each other outside the house and then we'll see. Alright, my husband. Hello Rosalie. Hello Sarah let's sit at this table. You are very beautiful. Your dress is beautiful. Thank you so much my dress is a gift from my husband. They spoil me a lot. You know, he's really great. He never misses an opportunity to give me things. When are you going to invite me to your house? When I hear everything you're telling me now. I know your house must be beautiful. Yes, I can confirm you that. 
Come home next Saturday. This is the address. You have a very nice house. Thank you so much, Rosalie. Oh, I hear my husband coming. I'm going to introduce him to you. Give me two minutes. I'm going to pick him up. She is very lucky indeed. What a beautiful house. It seems that everything works well for her. When I think that we both come out of poor families. She did it and I didn't. There are valuable items all over this house. Very expensive items. Hello my husband. Hope you had a good day. Hello sweetie. Yes, very good. Rosalie, my girlfriend I told you about, is paying us a little visit. She is in the second living room. Come and let me introduce her to you. Good morning, madam. Good morning, sir. Happy to make your acquaintance. I too heard a lot about you. But sit down. Sarah went to the kitchen to get drinks. She should be back soon. Okay, I admire your house and I thought to myself that it is really beautiful. Sarah is really lucky. We come from the same poor neighborhood, but she managed to get up while I can't even find a man like you. Each human being is different and when we trust in God, he always reserves the best for us. I would like my turn to come too. I would have liked to meet someone like you. Sarah is just way too lucky. But I am more beautiful than she is. When we were in junior high, the men looked at me, not her. Look how beautiful I am. Sweetie, I am not comfortable with this woman that you brought to the house. I don't trust her. But no, my husband, you see evil everywhere. Rosalie was a really nice person. We shared a lot of things before. She was always there for me and I for her. It's just that life separated us and we went our separate ways. Now that I have found her, I would like to give her a chance so that she too can do things. My wife, I feel something negative when I see this woman. I tell you again that I don't trust her. It's best to get away from her. You know, human being is complex. Some people can be very kind when you share the same pain, the same pain as her. But these same people can be daunting when they see that one of them, someone they ate dried bread with, has succeeded. They can even be dangerous. No, I assure you. Not Rosalie, not my girlfriend. What time does this train start? It is essential that I get to my appointment. I'm going to show this Sarah. Who does she think she is? She throws all her happiness in my face. What does she want to show? She's going to see. I'm going to make her regret, the day she was born, the pain we had as a child. She will seem sweet compared to what I have in store for her. <laughs> it's essential that I get to my appointment. I'm going to show her, this Sarah. Who does she think she is? She throws all her happiness in my face. What does she want to show? She's going to see. I'm going to make her regret the day he was born. The pain we had as a child will seem sweet compared to what I have in store for her. I know that my Aunt Gertrude will be able to help me with this problem. That's good, she's just passing through town. It will make my job much easier. <laughs> Rosalie, what do you want this time? You're going to have to pay in one way or another for the service you're going to ask me for. What darkness gives with his right hand, he takes back with his left hand. That's how this world works. But let's get back to our senses. Here she comes. Hello, Aunt. Rosalie. Come in, let's talk. My Aunt. In summary, I want everything she has, her husband, her business, her house, her friends. In short, I put his life on the line. I want to be her. I want her to be destroyed. I can offer you an effective and fast substance that will make her disappear in a few days. No, Auntie, I want her to see everything I'm going to do to her. I want her to suffer. That'll teach her to taunt me with his happiness. Okay, I'll give you something. You will only have to wear it and use it as I will explain to you. Okay, Auntie, 
you the best. By the way, Auntie, I didn't tell you but you were still always young what is your secret? <laughs> I am on time. I know from Sarah that her husband, well my future husband, is finishing work very soon and at that time, Sarah must already be home. I made sure of that by giving her a call. So I am going in the office of my future husband. Since this talker gave me the name of her husband's company. It was easy to find the address on the internet. Sarah, you should have been quiet. Instead, you continue to taunt me with all your success. You will see with this lipstick that my aunt gave me and all the rituals that she showed me. I'm going to bring her husband down. A woman named Rosalie asks to see you. I told her that she needed to make an appointment, but she insists that she is a friend of your wife. Leave her come. Good morning, madam. What do I owe this honor? Good morning. I was passing by the neighborhood and decided to come to say hello. You look very handsome as usual. Let me kiss you. We are friends, right? It won't be necessary. In addition, within my company, we have very strict regulations regarding exchanges between men and women. Okay, sorry. Listen, madam, it's getting late and I need to finish some very important work. You have to leave now. Okay, goodbye. It is not possible. The rituals were useless and I couldn't use it on him. My magic lipstick. Hello, empty. The plan did not work. What should I do? Oh good. It's weird. This charm is unrepeatable. It's the one I prepared for your cousin who is now married to a wealthy merchant who does what she says. Come see me in a week, I'll have something else for you. Okay, auntie, don't forget once I get rich. You too will benefit from it. Hello my husband. Did you have a good day? Hello, sweetie. Yes, very good, but I have something to tell you. It's a friend you met recently. Rosalie came to the office and her intentions were not good at all. You have to get away from her as I already advised you. But my husband, I think she just wanted to be nice. You're exaggerating. I know Rosalie well. We were really good friends. She can't think badly, I assure you. While waiting for you to give me something else, I'm going to move my plan forward. I'm going to call Joe to trick Sarah. Okay, it's a small problem. I set up at the very corner of the street as agreed and I would wait for her to execute your perfect plan. You are the best and you'll get sped well. But what does Rosalie do? I've been waiting for 30 minutes. Hi, is that you Sarah? Yes, it's me. Who are you? How do you know my name? But are you mentally ill? Isn't it Sarah? What is she doing with this man? She told me she had an appointment with her friend Rosalie. I knew that this Rosalie would be a bad influence on my wife. Sarah has never behaved like this. What is going on? Hello Sarah. I can't join you anymore. I had an impediment. Oh good. You could have warned me sooner. I've been waiting for you for hours and what's more, I was accosted by a very strange man. Oh my god. I'll go tell my husband about it. Oh my god. Especially don't talk about it to your husband. Men are very jealous. Believe in my experience, you don't have to tell him anything. Okay, thank you. Hi Sarah, where are you? I was waiting for you instead. I'd better take Rosalie's advice and not talk about today's incident with this strange man. It's Sarah today, where did my little name go? Sweetie? Excuse me, I'm tired. Okay. I get it.
I was at the movies with Rosalie, as I told you this morning. Why does she lie? Does that mean what I think? His girlfriend Rosalie called me to cancel their appointment because she couldn't get in touch with my wife. It's very weird. This time I'm giving you a perfume and a powder. As soon as you're next to this man, they will take action. Yes. And with the sabotage that I've put in place, their strong union is going to start to break apart. Yesterday she called me to complain because her husband is not as usual. Your potions are going to finish the job. <laughs> you are fearsome, my niece. And yes. Yes, absolutely. And to further complicate their relationship, I also sent fake letters to make her husband believe that Sarah has lovers. How come you get letters from men at home? It is now the third letter. What is going on? Do you have lovers? But not at all. How can you think that? I feel insulted. What are you doing? You didn't tell me you were traveling. Indeed, it was not planned. But I need to get some air outside this house. Oh, Lord. What is going on? My husband has never been like that. I'm letting the night go by and tomorrow I'll talk to him to find out what's going on. It has already been a week and I have no news from my husband. What is going on? He's not at his desk. He is not in the places he is used to visiting. I went around the hospital, but he can't be found. But what is going on? In the morning, Sarah called me and she told me that Jean left the marital home and still hasn't been home for a week. I have not yet used the perfume and powder you gave me, but it will soon. You are genial, really genial. I have prepared another potion for you, you have to give it to her to drink and she will be bad luck. All of his business is going to drop one by one. Bad luck and sadness will be his new friends. Her husband will eventually leave her and be all yours. I also worked on her husband so that he would lose interest in her. I'm informing you that their last fight opened a rift in their marriage shield. So it will be easy to complete our plan. But above all, these two must not see each other again until everything is in place. <laughs> Hi Sarah, how are you? Hello Rosalie. Oh, done, come on, let's sit down. I'm glad you agreed to go out today. Despite everything that happens to you. It's me who thanks you for suggesting this idea to me. That's good, it allows me to change my mind a bit. By the way, it's me inviting you. I just won a big contract. So, we're going to celebrate it. I am sad because my husband is not here to celebrate with me. Usually, he is the one who organizes a small party for this kind of occasion. Despite what has happened to her, she still shines as bright as ever. She is as beautiful and well-dressed as ever and she continues to throw her success in my face. But what she doesn't know is that I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to turn off that light on his face. Tell me Sarah, so you still have no news about your husband? He hasn't given me any news since our fight. I don't understand we never quarreled before that. But strange things have been happening lately. We received letters from men who declared their love for me even though I did not know them. My husband started to get suspicious. And do you remember that man I told you about who wanted to kiss me in the middle of the street? I don't understand anything at all. I even called his family, but no one knows where he is. Or at least nobody wants to tell me anything. I feel sorry for you, my friend. Oh, but you have a stain on your cheek. Go to the bathroom quickly. Take it off before anyone noticed it. Oh good. Thanks for telling me that. I'm coming back. It is good. I put the powder. In the glass of water is over for her. It's weird, there was nothing on my cheek. But hey, I took the opportunity to freshen my face a bit. 
So can we order the food now? I will pay. Pay? Yes. Rejoice. For the last time. What do you mean by that? Nothing. My girlfriend eats and drinks a lot during the meal. Water has calming properties. Hi, Dad. Thanks for coming. Come on, let's sit down. Hello, Jean. But what is going on? Your wife is looking for you everywhere. Why don't you give her any news? I am troubled, Dad. We had arguments with my wife, which has hardly ever happened to us since we were married, and I felt the need to get away for a while. But what has happened? Strange and unusual things about her behavior, including a bit astonished. But that's the secret of marriage. Maybe I'll tell you about it later. But the strange thing is that I don't feel the need to call her. When I left the house, I put my phone on silent and since then, when I want to call her, I feel very heavy. I can't do it. It is very strange. Listen, my son, you cannot leave your home like that and leave your wife without news. That's not how I was raised. If your poor mother were still alive, she would be unhappy. Think well quickly and go home. That is the problem indeed. I can't think properly. What's going on here is not normal. God intervenes in this situation, please. Oh, but what is going on in my life? My husband has been missing for three weeks now. I don't understand anything at all. It all makes no sense. Within a week, I lost my two stores. My other store is having serious problems. I no longer have customers. My goods are stuck at the port. God, what is going on? Hello my daughter, you seem worried to me. Can I sit next to you? Yes, of course, Andy. What is going on? Why do you look worried? Such a pretty girl full of life. I have a lot of problems, Andy. Remember, my daughter. It all started right here, in this same park, on this same bench. I don't understand what you're saying. What are you talking about? I say that it all started right here, in this same park, on this same bench. I have to go, girl, but don't forget. It all started right here, in this same park, on this same bench. My daughter listen carefully to this, it is not a fight that the Lord cannot win. Do not let yourself be defeated, rise up and call on the great God, and he will fight for you. If you let yourself get down, you're letting the darkness get the better of you and you risk falling forever. Goodbye my daughter. Goodbye auntie. But who is this woman? What is she talking about? It's getting late, I have to go home. Oh, and nobody is waiting for me at home. What can it do? I'm going to call Rosalie and go to my store. I'm going to do some bookkeeping. It's going to change my mind. Oh my store caught fire. But what is going on? Why is everything falling apart around me? What is going on? Lord. So what? My son Jean, go home quickly. Your wife just warned me that her store burnt down. Hello dad. How? What store? Oh my god. We'll talk later. I need to join my wife. Quickly. I need to join my wife soon. I hope she has nothing. Her phone is not answering. Come on sweetie, let's go home. Sweetie. Sweetie, I'm going to make you some hot tea and you're going to rest. We're going to talk next. Could it be at this time of night? I'm going to see. Good evening. I learned that Sarah's store had burned down. I got there as fast as I could. But what is she doing here? Good morning, madam. I really don't understand Rosalie. What imprudence. She really put her plan into action. As you left, she told me that she would set fire to her store to force you to come back because she did not know where you were. Excuse me. I hope that the perfume and the matting powder will start to take effect. What is that smell? What is this perfume? Oh, but that's Rosalie I hear that. But what is she talking about? But Rosalie, hello. What are you saying to my husband? 
Stop pretending to be innocent, Sarah. That's what you told me at the restaurant. Stop lying. But what is going on here? And then my head. I have a headache. Listen to Sarah. Go get some rest, we'll talk about that later. And you, madam, go home. I need to take stock of this situation. It starts, it works. Hello my husband, you are coming back later and later at the moment and we don't see each other on weekends anymore. Hello Sarah. Yes, the days are long and I helped my friend Rosalie start a business. You are right, she is really nice. She came to the office this week for my help and we had dinner at the restaurant. She's really a funny girl. Are you seeing Rosalie now? For my part, I have big problems with my shops and you hardly have time for me. Don't worry, I'll take care of it when I have some time. Hello Rosalie. How is it that you are meeting my husband in my absence and without informing him? So what? Who do you think you are? Am I allowed to talk to him, to ask him for financial advice? No. I thought you were my friend. I had big plans to help you. I don't need you and whoever you're calling today. Your husband belongs to me. Stay far away from us or I will break you. But what is going on? Everything is falling apart around me. Where is the rift? I don't understand anything. And my husband who still hasn't come home. Lord, but what is going on in my life? What did I do wrong? What is this dream that comes back to me on a recurring basis? Why do I see this woman I met in the park repeating the same thing to me? Um, remember my daughter? It all started right here, in this same park, on this same bench. My daughter listen carefully to this, it is not a fight that the Lord cannot win. Do not let yourself be defeated, rise up and call on the God of hosts. Yahweh Sabao, and he will fight for you. If you let yourself get down, you're letting the darkness get the better of you and you risk falling for good. Farewell my daughter. It was all there before my eyes and I wanted to see nothing, wanted to hear nothing. Lord, forgive me for having abandoned you, neglected my relationship with you, occupied with my business and my happiness. I thought that I no longer had to make any effort to please you, to bless you with what you gave me in life. My prayer, although daily, had become a formality and I forgot the need to really stay close to you. I am coming back to your feet, my God. Forgive me and help me win this fight. My husband warned me, I didn't listen. Now he is caught in the net of this woman who I thought was my friend. The old lady spoke to me, but I didn't understand. Today, I am coming back to you. Lord, take me back in your womb. I am ready to fight. Not with my own strengths, but with yours. Oh my God. What is going on with me? My ideas are muddled. I can't think properly. Lord, you have always been my advisor. A good advisor for me. Today, I feel lost. The harmony that I had with my wife seems to be crumbling day by day. I feel better with Rosalie, but I don't know when this attraction started. God. Help me. I'm going to go for a walk. Yes, I am attracted to Rosalie, but something in me prevents me from moving forward in this direction. I know, Lord, that you want to tell me something, but I have lost myself in my work and in the happiness and peace that you have given me. I have relegated you to the background and I no longer hear your voices before. What should I do, Lord? Help me out. My son? My back hurts a bit. Do you live far away? Come on, I'll take you home. No, my son. Thank you that's really sweet. But I don't live far away. Allow me to insist. Your back hurts and it's already dark. Okay. Okay there you go, this is where I live. Oh good. But it's in my neighborhood. My house is right across the street. But I don't know you. It doesn't matter, my son. I live in the neighborhood, but you, my son, go home and above all, remember this. The first impression is often the right one. Yes, the first impression is often the right one. Go home. Hello my husband. Hello sweetie. Come on, 
Let's talk because we have a long way to go together. Yes, my husband. We have many things to say to each other, but first, let us pray together as we did before, so that the Lord, the God of hosts, may guide us in his wisdom. Yes, you are right. There it is. So after the day she came home, Rosalie started coming to my office every day. We spent evenings talking, because she told me that she needed my advice to do business. And then as time went by, I had mixed feelings about her. But thank God, I have never done anything that is reprehensible in the eyes of God and I have not betrayed our marriage vows. However, she tempted me several times. But something kept me from sinking because I knew that God was watching me. Hello, can you come see me at home? I don't feel well. Hello. No, I can't do that. I still have work to do. Thanks for the hot meal. But you know, I cook really well. Better than Sarah anyway. Leave Sarah alone and tell me about the project you wanted to submit to me instead. I don't understand why you were staying with her when I've given you all the proof of her infidelities, all the proof that it's not the woman you think she is. Leave Sarah alone. And that's how, for weeks, she swirled around me and for weeks I fought, thank God, not to fall. And tonight I met an old lady who spoke to me. She was like a messenger from God and I woke up from a long sleep and here I am. You were right, my husband. From the first second you warned me and today, I understand that she was always jealous of me. And you know what? A rather strange old lady I had met in the park said this to me word for word. It all started right here, in this same park, on this same bench. And imagine that it was in the park that I saw this witch for the first time. God is good because he does not abandon his children, even if they distance themselves from him because of the happiness of this world. Yes, in fact, when we come back to God, he welcomes us with open arms. The Bible talks about it in Luke 15, 11 to 32. It's the story of the prodigal son. But what is going on? I can't see the spirits of these two idiots anymore. No more people, no more Sarah. But what does Rosalie make? However, I told her what to do to destroy this couple. This worthless person is not even capable of executing such a simple plan. She is going to leave in their place, because I need to replace these two souls that I had already planned to sacrifice to my partners. And, what are we doing here? Stupid idiot. You have been unable to execute a simple plan. Why did you come to get me to help you? Now you are going to pay with your life, because by handing over the souls of Sarah and Jean to me. For my part, I had made promises to my occult group. But for several months, they disappeared from our night radars. They became untouchable. I don't know by what miracle they prayed again and a light shield prevents me from moving forward. So I'm going to have to sacrifice you to appease the anger of the spirits I've had to bring in to do this work. But Auntie, what are you telling me? I always knew you were a witch. Very vindictive, but I didn't think you could take it out on me. Your own niece? Hello my husband. How was your day? Really really good. Magnificent. For my part, I am preparing to restart the three stores. And as you know, the fourth is in the process of being set up. Magnificent. Well done my darling. You know, I learned today that Rosalie passed away after having a fit of madness several months ago. Her aunt also died a few hours after her. Strange, no. Rumors say they were bound by a pact that won them both out. It seems that they caused a lot of victims in their neighborhood. It's sad. Oh, glory to God. We were spared. God saved and restored us because we called him when everything was falling around us. Let us never forget God's mercy in moments of distress and let us worship him daily in moments of happiness. Yes, let us worship him every moment of our lives and he will always be with us. Brothers and sisters, that's all for this video. If you liked this video, 
Do not hesitate to like, comment and share it with those around you so that a soul can be saved and restored. And please don't forget to subscribe to the Sentinel channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. God bless you. As I was telling you, I would like us to pray before I go to work. You know, sweetie, I am very tired tonight. I don't want to pray at all. Let me finish watching my match quietly. You can go on guard quietly tonight. Okay, honey, well if you don't want to pray, I'm not going to force you. Me, I'm leaving good night to you and may God protect you anyway. Thank you so much sweetie. Good work to you as well. This woman should stop bothering me a bit with these prayer stories. Do I have to pray all the time before doing something? In any case, tonight I am very tired and I really don't want to pray. Well, I need to focus a bit more on my match. The time has come more than ever to go and finish this little man that my client last time had entrusted to me. Apparently tonight he decided not to say his prayer. So it's now or never for us to destroy him. We're going to do this to him properly and he's never going to forget it. If he was told again not to pray at night before going to sleep, he himself would become disenchanted. Perfect. So what are we doing tonight then, boss? You know, tonight I'm going to be sent on a mission. You will go directly to torment him in his sleep and if you can even paralyze him, don't hesitate at all to do it. Because this little man had created so many problems for us here with his prayers in the past. Now is the time we're never to finish it off in his sleep. Okay, that works. I'll go do that to him right away. Perfect, my student. Finally, I had just arrived at work. I hope that my husband has finally taken the time to entrust his sleep into the hands of the Eternal. Well, I'm going to change and start my job. Oh, I feel that it will be a good night and that I will only have sweet dreams. I am tired and so sleepy. Well, let's go. I came here to get the spirit of Arno. Arno come here right away so that I could finish. Perfect your spirit responded to my call, which means that you left the door open spiritually. Now you belong to me and I will do with you what I want from now on. What? But what are you telling me now? Leave me alone because I'm never going to belong to you. You already belong to me, Arno, to show you that you are mine now. I'm going to teleport you to the fire that I had already prepared for you. What are you telling me? Shut your mouth right away or you'll end up in the pan. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Welcome to your new cage. Now you will never be able to leave again. You will spend three days here and then we will put on the fire and finish you in one of our pots. My boss will also come to see you later. I don't understand anything that's happening to me anymore. I am completely lost. Don't worry or no, you will soon get to know me because I am the one who will give you orders here. You know, it took me so long to find you, because every time someone organized a plan against you, you thwarted it. Always with your wife, through prayer. I think it was your heart that rang today. It was not at all easy for us to have you by our side. I think my client will be so happy when she learns that you were captured by one of my associates. What? But who is your client? I'm not allowed to tell you this, but it's someone you know very well. Honestly, what even prompted me not to pray with my wife before falling asleep on the couch? It's a decision that I absolutely regret. You know, here, there is no regrets now and it's over. You will be so much be tortured and you will never forget. <laughs> I don't understand why my husband hasn't been answering my calls since just now when he didn't do that at all before. Is he still doing well right now in this house where he is simply in a deep sleep? In any case, I still want to pray for him and for the house. Lord, I put my husband into your hands. I entrust it to you. Lord, protect and preserve him from all danger and from any attack by the enemy in his sleep. I put our house in your hands, Lord, 
May your grace be well in this house, so that nothing bad happens to it. In your hands, I entrust to you his body, his soul, his spirit. I beg you, Lord watch over him so that he can have a peaceful sleep, that angels caress his face during this night, so that he can sleep like a baby sleeping in his mother's arms. Forgive him all his sins, Lord, and it was in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that I prayed. Amen. Finally, I feel so good in my soul. Now I know that he is safe. It is my fault that I am here now because my wife always told me to pray to the Lord before going to bed at night. Forgive me for my disobedience. Please, I will never do anything like this again. Who are you, sir? I was sent to free you from this cage, or no. You don't belong here. Never do what you did tonight again. Never forget to recommend your sleep in the hands of the Eternal before you go to sleep. You really had the grace that the Lord had compassion on your soul. Starting today, do not neglect prayer, take your Christian life seriously, no longer doubt and no longer play with faith instead of watching matches all day long on TV. Instead, make a decision to read the Holy Scriptures and spend more time communicating with God. Bless our no. Thank you very much sir for the wonderful advice you have just given me. I would put them all into practice. Be blessed, adored, and lifted up. Dearest sir, may all the glory goes to God. Thank you very much sir for the wonderful advice you have just given me. I would put them all into practice. Be blessed, adored, and lifted up. Dearest sir, amen. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Go or no and don't sin anymore. Thank you very much, sir. Wow! What was this dream I had just had? Honestly, I was very scared for my life. I thought it was already over for me. Fortunately, God had really blessed me to return to this world. Never again do I have fun with my faith. Lucky for me that my enemies couldn't take over my life. Thank God they failed again in their plan, which they mapped out for me. I really promise God that they will never reach me again. Thank you so much, Lord, for saving my life. May all glory be given to you forever and ever. Amen. Well, I have to sleep again I'm still a lot sleepy. But I absolutely must not forget to pray. Lord Jesus, I thank you for everything you have done for me. Thanks for babysitting me. I thank you I put my night in your hands. I'm putting my sleep back on you. I beg you, Lord be in control of all things, Lord, that the doors and windows of this house be closed in the powerful name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I trust you because you have given us great promises in your word regarding our protection during sleep and on the basis of these promises. I ask you, Lord, to protect me tonight. Eternal Father, you said in the book of Psalms, chapter 91 verse 1 to 5, let the one who dwells under your shelter and protected belong to the Lord. You are our refuge. You are our fortress. In you, I trust deliver me from the fowler's net, of the plague and its ravages. Cover me with your feathers, because I know that your fidelity is a shield and a breastplate for your children. Eternal my God, I would fear neither the terrors of the night, nor the arrow that flies during the day, nor the plague that walks in the darkness, nor the contagion that strikes in the middle of noon. May all artificial man's projects be destroyed. Eternal my God, May the blood of your Son Jesus Christ protect me from death. The cursed one directed at me be annihilated in the powerful name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and Eternal, my God. You promised us in the book of Leviticus 26 this that you will bring peace to our countries, to our homes, and no one disturbs our sleep. Thank you Lord that you annihilate all the wizards, all the bad spirit who, through astral projection, want to infiltrate our sleep through dreams. Thank you for annihilating anyone who comes in the form of a wife or husband at night, not only to defile and attack us. Thank you Lord for the death that you keep away from me. Based on Psalms chapter 78, verse 17, I proclaim that I will not die, I will live and I will proclaim the works of the eternal Lord. God, you promised us in the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verses 24 to 25. Then you will go on your way in safety, and your foot will not stumble. When you lie down, you will not be afraid. When you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. My king, thank you for making the mighty army of the Lord camp around my bed. Thank you, eternal God, because God sent your angels, powerful warriors, not only to sound nighttime alarms when there is an attack, 
but also to caress our faces. Thank God that through Jesus Christ, I can stand up against any amulet. Against any witchcraft that was made to attack my family. Oh my God. I beg you to make this house invisible to wizards. Let those who come either physically or by means of astral flying lose their way. Let them be annihilated by bursts of helplessness. I take authority over any demon who is ordered to attack me tonight. You have no rights to this house. I take authority over you and annihilate you in the powerful name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you so much my God for having answered my prayer. It was in the powerful and glorious name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth that I prayed. Amen. Well, now I know that I will be able to sleep well. But where did he go? Or no. Don't tell me it flew away. Honestly, boss, I can't tell you that. What I don't understand is that this cage hasn't moved. All the locks are still in place. That's what I don't understand either. Who came to get him out of here? Frankly, I don't know boss at all. It's really inexplicable what just happened. Okay, well, I'm sending you on a mission again. Go and get me his spirit. Okay, boss. I'll be right back with his spirit. You get caught and you disappear from your prison. I myself will pick you up at your house right away. For this time, you will never escape us again. Don't approach our no house. What? Who are you to forbid me not to approach our no? Try. And you will see the fire of the Lord consume you forever. Okay, I'm leaving because I absolutely don't want to have problems with this god. I know he's not laughing at all. I don't want to be consumed by his fire. Good evening to you gentlemen. Goodbye. As I was telling you, my wife. That's a bit of what happened to me. Wow. I really give glory to God that the Lord had compassion on your soul. And brought you back into this world again. I really bless the Lord for all his grace. Me too, sweetie. Never again would I sleep without praying. Praise be to God for that. I am so happy that you were able to make this decision. Okay, my wife. That was a bit of what had happened. Boss. Okay, that's not a big deal. We will never be discouraged. We'll try to make another plan on him so we can catch him again. Exactly great chef. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, no matter how tired the day is, let us never forget to pray before going to sleep. The book of Psalms, chapter 56, verse 2, says this, My adversaries pursue me all day long. In their pride many are attacking me. A Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 17 says this, Pray without ceasing. Oh my God! Help us to develop a daily life of prayer. It is in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that I prayed. Amen. Brothers and sisters, that's all for this video. If you like this video, do not hesitate to like, comment and share it with those around you so that a soul can be saved and restored. And please don't forget to subscribe to the Sentinel channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. God bless you.